Toolbox Training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Uh, today we're going to work with a tool called Google Flourish, uh, but first just as a little reminder, uh, you can find all kinds of free resources and tools on journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, it's linked off the Society of Professional Journalists website at spj.org. Um, and we have all kinds of resources here for journalists. Uh, we're a little heavy on sports because uh, the Olympics are going on right now. Uh, but we have all kinds of things, public records, uh, you know, uh, First Amendment uh, issues, uh, environment, uh, uh, digital and data journalism tools, all kinds of different uh, resources for you. Uh, so make sure uh, that you use that tool, journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, we also have many uh, training videos up there, 60 training videos uh, along with this one. Uh, and also uh, a newsletter that comes out every two weeks that you can sign up to uh, up for for free. Um, so do uh, use this website. Uh, it is very valuable to journalists. Our exercise today, we're going to work with Google Flourish to build an animation uh, on Olympic swimming. Uh, Google added some new templates in there for track and field cycling and swimming, uh, where if you have times, uh, split times or lap times uh, in swimming or in track or something, uh, you can build out uh, using nothing more than a spreadsheet, a cool little animation uh, where you can uh, watch uh, the event play out. So, uh, you know, really cool little thing here. This is a men's 100 meter freestyle uh, final from Tokyo that Caleb Dressel won. Um, and there he's right here. You can control, you know, the colors of the uh, swimmers' uniforms and things like that. Uh, this is based off their real times. Uh, you can also adjust it so it works in real time. Uh, which I've done here. This race was just over 47 seconds long, so it plays out over 47 seconds. I could speed it up to make it go faster. Um, so you might be wondering, you know, how the heck do I, you know, create something like this uh, with nothing more than a spreadsheet? Well, it's not very hard. Um, we have an exercise that's up, and it is linked. This link here will get you to this exercise. Uh, and the exercise link is in the uh, description uh, of this video, so you can open up this link here. Uh, and you'll find this exercise. Um, I'm going to walk you through the steps and kind of show you how it works. Uh, you have to set up a free account at Flourish.studio. Flourish.studio is the website. Um, so if I hit sign in here, um, I've got an account already. It's free. Um, and you can see all of the uh, uh, graphics that I've created before. I can just double click on them and open them. One of the great things about this tool is it saves the uh, video uh, or saves the graphic uh, as you uh, work. So you don't have to constantly hit save, uh, save button and worry about losing your work. Um, so I'm going to hit new visualization here uh, and scroll down here. You know, there's all the uh, old graphics that they've had in here. Uh, and just uh, right after the start of the summer uh, Olympics in 2021, uh, they added these uh, sports race uh, templates in, which, uh, you know, were specifically, you know, for the Olympics. But they'd work for, you know, high school sports, you know, your state high school swim meet or track meet. Uh, you know, maybe there's a big race that you want to uh, visualize. Um, you know, NCAA sports, uh, you know, uh, national championships, things like that. Um, I'm going to double click on the swimming graphic and it'll open up and it defaults to just, you know, these random names. And if you're going to build a spreadsheet with this, really all you need is the name of the athlete over here. Uh, and then uh, their lap times here, you know, so this could be, you know, the 200 meter and, you know, we would have four columns or, uh, you know, the, uh, you know, 800 meter and you would have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, eight columns, uh, you know, so, uh, or uh, actually uh, 16 columns, you know, so it'd be. Uh, you know, every 50 meters, you would have a, a new time. And that's, uh, you know, not just their splits, but their lap times. Over here, you select what columns you want to show in the graphic. The name goes under A, and then the times are, are B through E, which, you know, just ends at D here. Um, and then their final time is always the last column. Um, it's easy to access this, uh, you know, the results uh, for, for many uh, sporting events that are online. Um, uh, many of them are pretty easy to download. I actually had to take the data off of olympics.com and type it into the spreadsheet. Uh, but I give you the spreadsheet to work with right here. So if you go to our exercise and download step one, you'll see this nice little spreadsheet. This is the official results from uh, the uh, uh, men's 100 meter freestyle at the Olympics. Uh, you have their 50 meter time uh, and you have 
uh, than their uh, final uh, finish time, you know, and Caleb won at 47.02. Uh, but, you know, you see the many other times, it was a very close race. There was only one that was about a second back. Um, you can download this data. Just hit the download button in the upper right-hand corner and download it to your downloads folder. So if you want, hit pause uh, and, uh, you know, you can grab uh, that uh, data set. So just go ahead and hit pause right now and download the data and drop it out to your desktop just like I did here. Okay, welcome back. Um, uh, all the steps uh, in here are, are walk you through, uh, you know, how to build this graphic. It gives you headline and, you know, tells you the different settings to do and things like that um, to make it look really nice. Uh, you can embed this graphic then into a web page. Uh, it also works pretty well on social media links and, uh, uh, you know, uh, off there and, and uh, you know, you have the uh, still screenshot of the graphic, which looks really nice. Um, so you want to come in here and open up the uh, swimming uh, graphic and you'll see the dummy data playing out. Uh, all the action takes place over here on the right hand side um, where I have all of the uh, settings here. We'll use header, footer, timeline, and animation. I will also adjust the colors of the, the swimmers uh, outfits to kind of closely match their uh, closely match their uh, country's uniform uh, colors and, and uniform. Um, up here, you always want to give this uh, a label up here. This is just a working title. It is visual to the reader, uh, but we'll actually add a headline up here in just a minute. To upload our data, we click on the Data tab here at the top. Hit Upload. And then go find our data set. You want to import it publicly. That means people will be able to see the data once uh, once it's live. Um, and really, all we need to do is B through C here. So I'll just go C. And hit return. And then go back to preview. Now we have the names of our swimmers here and you know you Caleb's out in front but he's wearing green and I'm, I'm not really wild about that um, you know because he's uh, you know USA Kyle Chalmers Australia you should probably have blue or red on Caleb should have blue or red on um, to change your colors it's really easy it defaults here to uh, track and participants um, uh, it allows you to uh, change the the images and things like that you can increase the size of the swimmer a little bit if you want to make him a little bigger on here uh, you can change it to circles too, although I wouldn't encourage it. I, I prefer the uh, images of the swimmers. Um, uh, you can uh, go back to the default, and if I wanted to change it to some custom icon to maybe the flags of the uh, countries or something like that, you could do that. Um, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, I prefer kind of seeing the little swimmers on the same way with track and things like that. Notice the graphic at the end; they give them a little medal and stuff like that. Notice that this uh, uh, plays, you know, very quickly. It plays in only 20 seconds, and it loops. We can adjust all that. You can have great controls over uh, what happens here. So we're going to change our uniform colors first. To do that, you just go under Track and Participants and go to Color. Uh, and I'm going to pick a little different color palette, the second one down from the top. Uh, and notice they're still kind of in different uh, color panels, although Dressel, you know, I like him in the, uh, uh, in the blue. Um, I can hit the little down arrow here and edit color palette. It allows me to kind of rearrange, uh, you know, the color panel here. Um, so um, I'll make Italy green and this dude up here orange. And then I'll move this down. You can kind of play around with these and, and until you get them in the, in the order you want them in. Um, you know, and, and now it's starting to come together a little bit better. The U.S. is in blue, red, and, you know, we've got uh, Italy in, in green, which is part of their flag, uh, and so on. You can kind of adjust these colors as you go. Okay, now we want to add a header and a footer. Every graphic should always have a header and a footer, uh, a title uh, and a subtitle or maybe a little bit of text under it. The footer is where I got the data from in my credit. Um, I've given that to you uh, right here. Uh, if you look down uh, under uh, the steps uh, below here, um, you've got uh, steps seven and eight, um, uh, six, seven, and eight, I should say. Um, six has your uh, title. So you just copy that and bring it over. 
You always have to hit return after you have pasted in. And then I want to grab the text field. It says results are based on 50 meter time and finish. You can add more detail about the winner if you wanted to and talk about all the dressels, medals, or something like that. But I'm just going to drop that in there. Um, note that it's center, uh, uh, flush left. I can center it. I have controls up here. You can change the title styles just as you can with any of these. And you know, if I want to give it a little bling, I can give it some color and you know make it blue and you know really really dress it up there a little bit. I also want to have a footer. You can turn these little flyouts on and off, uh, which are really nice. Uh, um, you know, my source name uh, Olympics.com. My under note, I'll do graphic. My Riley. I'll make my flush right, kind of like my credit down in the lower right. You can do fl fl flush left or flush right; it doesn't matter. Uh, and then I have a link to where I got the data from the results page. And that's very important for transparency. I'm going to drop that in under source URL so people can see where the data came from. And now, you know, I've got a header and, and a footer. But this is still playing at 20 seconds. And I want to make it more realistic and have it play out in the 47 seconds that the uh, race is actually uh, timed at. I can control all that. You know, there's all kinds of uh, different settings here. You know, laps and splits, the camera angle. I can zoom in, zoom out, um, tilt the camera angle. Um, labels, uh, you know, I can adjust uh, the size of the labels and things like that. Color of them and so on. But time and animation, timeline and animation is a big one. A um, lot of settings here. Um, I'm going to turn off loop timeline uh, so it doesn't keep playing over and over. I just want it to play once. Um, uh, style is, is timeline. I want to turn on my playback button so people can play it back. And that's on. I can adjust my margins if need be, but they're, they're actually pretty good here, I think. We'll see how the names play out at the end here. Yeah, they come through just nicely. If there's not enough space over here, something or it's cutting off the T or, you know, too tight over here, you can always, uh, you know, uh, go uh, ch adjust your margins here. You know, give you a little more of a margin on the right need be. Um, but those are just small little uh, um, uh, settings there. Uh, I can change my button color if I wanted to, if I wanted to make it red or something like that. So it jumps out a little bit more down there. Timeline duration. Uh, I'm going to make it 47 seconds, the length of the actual race. Um, uh, you know, uh, and then, you know, the time jump duration, you know, all these uh, other little settings in here, uh, you can just kind of tinker with. Now when I play this, because I've set it to 47 seconds, they swim much slower. Uh, and you can kind of see how the race is a little bit tighter. Um, but they'll, they'll begin to, to kind of space out here as, as various uh, swimmers uh, fall off the pace a bit. This will be fun, you know, for 200 meters, 800 meters. It might be a little uh, long for something longer like the 1500 meters, uh, things like that. Um, you can't change the type of stroke. Uh, everybody's kind of swimming the freestyle here, so you can't change it to butterfly or breaststroke or something. Well, now we've got this, you know, in kind of working order. Um, uh, we can uh, go up here to export and publish. And I can publish this. The minute it turns green, it's live on the web. It gives me embed codes, uh, both JavaScript, uh, iframe, and uh, uh, accelerated mobile pages. And if I make any changes, I just hit republish. Here's the hot link to it uh, out on the uh, web, and, and there's yeah, there's your graphic. Uh, that's how simple it is. Keep in mind, you can use this for track and for others. Just follow the formatting in the template, um, kind of like I did with the uh, spreadsheet, uh, and uh, uh, you know set it up uh, in the same format that uh, the template has, uh, and you can pull these uh, results you know right out of here. I just went in and pulled uh, each one of these times. There's the 50 meter time and the finish. Uh, loaded that into the spreadsheet. It took me about five, 10 minutes to, to set it up. Uh, and once you do, uh, you know, you can load this in and, and have a nice little animated uh, uh, graphic of a swim meet or, you know, the Olympics or whatever you're covering uh, and have a, a really cool uh, little project uh, that you can build, you know, in, in just uh, about 10, 15 minutes. Um, so uh, again, you can find this exercise at bit.ly slash swim graphic. Flourish.studio is the Google Flourish website. Both are linked out of our description. Uh, stay tuned. We're going to have some uh, more uh, sports graphics and other uh, uh, resources uh, coming at you on this YouTube channel.